Previously on Rage 2. Prove your sizzle in that slow mo ride. And then move on and grab your ride. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and that's about enough of that. Oh, you want to get dirty, do you? If I knew where you... Oh, there you are! Ah! Okay, he's dead. Welcome back to Rage 2. It's been a while since I recorded this. Road choker up ahead. Yeah, that's that's what I'm going to do. There's a bunch of bandits down here blocking the road. Dr. Kvothir is still out there, and we have to find him. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Lily. I'm eyeballing one sketchy-looking place. Yeah, things ain't violent safe no more. Go in prepared, Walker. Yeah, definitely prepared. Whoops. Eat that, bitch. Yeah, welcome back to Reach 2 in the last video. I have no idea what we did, but we did something. Die. Thank you. You die already, God. Yeah, we did. We did a. I. The guys are doing a very generic. We did a bunch of things, killed a bunch of people, and uh. uh that that's that's about that's that then. And now we are heading over to the wherever that wherever this is to find Doctor Kvasir. There's a man over here somewhere. The fuck. So, where are you? Hi. That was fast. Ooh, data pad. Cool as shit. Yeah. You wanna read this? Pause the video. Thank you. Okay, slow it up on shot. Oh, oh yeah, oops, I need to raise this. There we go. Alright, freeze up the road for everybody else using this. Well, I will have to do that, but I can't English today. Let's uh I'm just gonna grab everything I can here. Yeah, let's let's head on to get to Dr. Kvas here. Which is over here. Oh, I almost forgot to turn on my stuff. Where do I go? Uh, I'm not sure where to go. Because the game is not giving me that GPS thing on the floor. This way? Yes, this way. Lily, I'm in the swampies. Now, where do I find this Dr. Kvass? Your guess is as good as mine. You should head to Swamp City, Lagoonies. Poke around. Gotcha. I'm heading there now. Well, this place is in damp, dank, warm, and fetid. Better get to that Laguni city really quick, otherwise this is just gonna gunk up by what the fuck is this? Holy shit. Uh I'm just gonna ignore you for now. Destination reached. Yes, destination reached. Laguni. Swamp City. Let's see if I can find anything about Dr. Kvasir here. Um. Hello, lady. What were you doing? Okay, never mind. Okay. Ranger. Uh, Haven't seen a ranger in a long, long time. Now you look a bit lost to me. Yeah, I'm looking for. Fought back to back, your kind and mine. Back in the war. Name's Mo Rummy. I'm just an old vet who keeps an eye out for the people of Laguni. Been living here a good long time now, and I know just about everyone. Do you know anything about a Dr. Kvasir? Scientist? Real old? Haven't heard that name since just after the war. He moved into the deep secreto, and then went completely off the radar. Nobody's seen him since. Anything else you can tell me? Well, the area around his base is usually awful quiet on account of the heavy old security. But lately, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from that part of the wetland. Okay, I'm gonna check it out. Okay. Find Dr. Kovas here in the Secreta Wetlands, which is... Not that one, but this one. Right, so it looks like we gotta head out to Dr. Kovasir's old base, find this fellow, and perhaps rescue him, considering that the man told us that we that he heard a lot of noise coming from the place, but first of all, I would like to investigate this big thing. 
So, you know, actually, I'm just gonna drive Phoenix a little closer so I don't have to go over there. And, uh, just gonna quickly nip over this way. This may or may not be an arc. It's an ecopod. Oh, there's arc chests here. Huh. Wait, hold on. Is this signal that I was re reading coming from here? No, it's actually past this place. Okay, never mind. I am just... I'll come back again for this off-camera so that I can just get the rewards. Oh, hi. Hello, Achievement. I'll come back to this off-camera so I can get all the stuff that's there, and then, uh... But in the, in the meantime, well... Bye. <laughs> okay! Whee! I'm gonna head over to Dr. Kvasser's place and check that out. Oh god, there's another authority sentry. God damn it. Oh, okay, that basically totaled my vehicle. Never mind. <laughs> oh god. Die. Oh. Okay. Ow. Jerk. I have no more health infusion, so this will be this will be fun. Ah, Jesus. Oh god. I've got no health infusions. This is gonna be fun. Come on, just a bit more, just a bit more. Yeah, bitch. Finally, God. Uh, I mean, I was just done with this. I I wanted to go and do this, and then all of this is going on. So I'm just gonna go back to my car and be on my merry way. Hello, Phoenix. Ah! Asshole! Okay, so we're here-ish, but something tells me this isn't a road meant for vehicles. Especially with all this bamboo. Looks like... Looks like bamboo, looks like asparagus, who knows. Ah, yes, the authority! Of course the authority are here, why wouldn't they be? I better hurry then. Where are you? No, don't shoot at me! I'm friendly! Fish. I guess this is you, Dr. Kvasir. I came looking for a Dr. Kvasir here. There you are. Let me just... Um... Much what's left of it. You check out. Hold on, I will let you in. Why? Thank you, Dr. Kvasir. This is this isn't in any way creepy or foreboding. Hello. Welcome, Ranger. Welcome. It's been too long since I played host to one of your kind. But 
The hell? Dr. Anton Kvasier, genius scientist with a shifty past. Original artist, pre apophis They say he worked for the Authority and helped create their mutant soldiers. Then he turned on his masters, joined the cause, fought alongside my folks in the Authority War. I'm not sure how I feel about mad scientists at this point, but I do need his help. It's, uh... It's an impressive setup, uh, Dr. Kvasir. Kvasir, yes, my lab suffices. Legs. <laughs> my research used to be more mechanically inclined, but over time the machines, it turns out, fail. I prefer to rely now on genetically engineered solutions, simply because they can heal. Makes sense, I guess. I hope you don't mind, Walker, yes? I put your scan through my arc mainframe. I know you now. Your parents. Such a tragedy when they were lost. But Arvina Prowley took you in, no? She did. As if I was her own. But they killed her. They destroyed everything I ever knew. Dead. Oh no. She was formidable. I was always hoping to. But alas, no. It was a massacre. An unstoppable force. Mutants. A new kind of creature. All tech and armor and guns. And huge. Taller than any building. And they were led by a man. General Martin Cross. Oh, he is back then. It was to be expected. He meant his lapdog scientist, Dr. Bendros, were always hard at work on their longevity project. But you see, for that problem, I just might have some solutions. Okay. Solutions. I've got one for you. Project Dagger. Ah, you know. <laughs> yes, of course you do. Prowley must have told you already. It will be easy for me to do my part. The project was always equal parts action and science. Come back in about uh, six years or so. Then I will have concocted a nanotritery programming agent. Excuse me. Serum, as I prefer to call. I have a phone call. Did you just say six years? Yes, thereabouts. The science cannot Hello? be rushed. Mm. Uh, yes, it can. Better okay. computing power. But alas, my yeah, lab no is problem. old. Dire. Yeah, fine. Only the elusive Eco-15 still in orbit could provide the computing power to speed up this process. Ecopod's still in orbit? Been hearing about that since I was a kid. Yes, it was a... Miscalculation remained on the firmament as the others came tumbling down. If Eco 15 was to be forced down, I could tap into the processing power of that ancient supercomputer. Think of it siphon that brute computing force into my poor old laboratory. Is there any way to force it down? Hmm. Yes. It can be done. Eden Space Center. Then I'll do it. Yeah. Wait a minute. You knew I was gonna volunteer to do it, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> uh, that's not creepy in any way. Okay, let's get out of here before I lose my 